Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So this one is for all you stringers out there, aspiring stringers, people who've been thinking about wanting to string. This one's very important for you guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so sponsoring my morning roast today. Yeah, they're not roasting me, thank God. Um, Ken Ang. Ken, thank you for sponsoring my morning hot cup of joe. Uh, greatly appreciate it. If you want to sponsor my hot brew of the day, network, buy me a coffee, forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. All right, so this question actually came up from uh, Derek Isaacs. Derek writes, two ideas for shows that would be very interested in watching. Top five easiest strings to string with. And I think you said Dunlop was the easiest. And then another video, bottom five, hardest strings to string with. So I'm going to do top five easiest first okay in another video i'll do hardest okay so this is the top five easiest strings to string with now there's no there's no doubt that you know a lot of the strings that we string with that are easy that are also our top selling strings because our fingers you know, really want to mow through these, but we know, but we know that these strings play well too. So that's our two criterias that it plays well and is easy to string. So that's why we chose or I chose these. Now they're in, I mean, no really particular order, but I'll start with my number five over here. My number five is actually a Gamma TNT over here. Just my all time go to string. You know, it just, it slides well on the machine. It's easy to weave. You can actually feel it. It's got the perfect amount of friction and perfect amount of slide. It's, you know, it's a quick racket if you use a full bed of this. Even if you use it as a hybrid, it makes it extremely easy to string. For those of you who know Gamma and know TNT, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Iconic, Dunlop Iconic Touch. Easy to slide. It's got the perfect texture on the coating that just slides right through. On each other in a full bed, beautiful, easy. On a cross or on a main and a hybrid, it plays well. And it's like, again, easy to slide. So as you're gonna, you're gonna see in the rest of this video, it's all about sliding, right? Cause I don't, the last thing a stringer wants to hear is violin or piano wire in your ear. Be, because if you hear that, that means there's a crap load of friction going on. It, you don't want it to go, like a dead cat or a dying cat like that. You don't want that because that means there's a lot of friction going on. A lot of friction. Okay. I'm going to leave that up to the friction lab guys to keep you, you, you and your racket from being together still. Okay. But in strings, we want sliding. Okay. So iconic touch. Now head velocity is another one of my favorites. Slides very well. Plays very well. Easy, easy to string. Again, main or cross in a hybrid, full bed, just easy. Easy on your hands, right? You won't chafe too much on your hands. You won't rip out too much skin. Um, perfect for, you know, stringing like, like I string like 20 rackets a day, right? So strings like this kind of keep me going. Number two, React. 17 and 16. Since I have both of these gauges out, 
and these strings are smooth and glide very well. If you can string with 17 more often, that'll actually make your job a lot easier. But you may break them a lot more faster because it's also thinner. The thinner the gauge, the easier to string. So keep that in mind. If you're a, you know, an aspiring stringer or a stringer of a lot of rackets, um, the unfortunate part is if you string with 17 gauge and you string for a bunch of string breakers, you'll see them more often. So maybe it's better to kind of go 16 and make it a little hard for yourself in the beginning just to buy you a little more time. But uh, so yeah, 17, you'll probably be a lot easier to string than 16 or 15, um, you know, so on. Thicker, harder, thinner, easier. So think of it that way. Uh, React slides very well, got a nice coating on it, makes it um, just smooth as butter, okay? And I mean, the all-time easiest strings to string is just basic sin gut. You know, like we got DynaWire over here, we got S-Gut over here, we got Wilson sin gut here, Prince Synthetic Gut, you know, Babolat synthetic gut, you know, all of the sin guts. They're just easy to string. They have a nice little sheen, nice little coating on it. It doesn't kink up very easily when you're pulling. Um, it's not very expensive, so you can jack it up and it'll, it won't cost you too much. But sin gut, you know, that's why people, you know, buy a lot of this and shops sell a lot of this because it is easy to string and it's not that expensive. You could jack it up, you'll be fine. And it's essentially cheap, right? It, it doesn't really matter if you screw it up. And it plays, it plays, you know, decent. It's decent. Okay, so that's the easiest. These are the top five easiest strings to string. Now, I want to omit like, like you guys are always scared. I know a lot of people are always scared when they see the word rough, right? Rough actually isn't that hard to tell you the truth. I know like uh, people get scared when they have to string ALU rough or RPM rough, right? Because it is rough. Like you can see by the back of this that it is not only shaped, but it is roughened up. The same with this. Okay, this is round, but it's roughed up. Now, it's actually easier to string this when it's rough because of all the roughness around the string. It actually glides easier because it's not a constant touch through like that. So when it's roughened up, it actually doesn't touch as much so therefore it slides more on the crosses. So don't be afraid of stringing anything that says rough. Now, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about the hard strings and rough isn't gonna be on there. All right? All right, guys, so I hope I helped you out a little bit. Um, as you see, most of the easy strings or all of the easy strings that I'm doing right here are um, synthetics. I can't have you guys go before giving you my top three, my top three poly strings to string that are easy. Now, I want to tell you that those of you who string, you know, who strung for a long time, um, it's not hard to string poly, but those of you who are kind of starting off or into your, you know, hundredth racket or something like that, you're probably not loving stringing any type of poly, except in a hybrid, probably. Because doing crosses with a poly is, you know, got to learn it. Got to learn it and got to get used to it um, as to how, you know, it wants to maneuver, how stiff it is and how hard it is to weave and and how hard it is to actually glide. So, but to help you guys out here, um, you know, these are the three strings that 
you know, I think are actually fairly easy. They're, they're, they're very simple. I mean, ALU, you know what to expect. It's going to be firm. Um, I actually like it firm because it goes through um, the holes pretty easily, especially on the cross because it's firm. Um, and you kind of know what to expect after doing a bunch of these. So ALU, pretty easy. Because you, I think it's because it's the oldest string. It's been out for 20 years. And you just know what to expect. When you do ALU, you, you know it's going to be firm. And you cut a nice little edge, just roll through it. Next string, RPM. This is just a regular RPM with the new packaging. I know they all look like this, but make sure it says spin control. Spin control. Um, again, a little on the firmer side, so you know exactly what to expect. After a while, you actually respect the firmness of, you know, this poly and the ALUs because, you know, it, it's just going to stay straight and you're just going to have to weave it through and you, you're going to know how to maneuver through it. So, um, and then obviously my confidential, um, again, on the firmer side. So the, the theme on the polys is, you know, it's firm, right? Cause if it's too soft, it doesn't want to, Right, it's too hard. It'll be easy, too easy to bend. So you, I'd rather have it on the slightly firmer side just to get it through on the weave to get it to the other side. And then when that string is in the way, like when that string is in the way and you got to get it through, the firmer actually kind of just busts through if you cut an edge. So that's why I like these three as a, you know, if I need to knock out 20 or something like that, and if I saw that these three were it, I'd probably be okay with it versus some other strings okay so that's my top strings that i would you know that, that i would say are easy you know for the most part i mean stringing isn't easy unless you've been doing it for a while and you'll kind of know what you personally like and think that's easy for yourself just from my experience these are the easiest to string for me all right derek thank you so much for the question uh I'll do the worst strings on another episode. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh, man. I'm so glad this video is sponsored by my friends over at Mebec. The makers of this massage gun. Oh, I can't wait to sit down and recover from my tennis today. I'm just gonna take the gun out immediately, put my favorite attachment in, and just throw it up to the highest gear. It's that easy. I'm starting to work on it already. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. That's, this is the road to recovery for today. Hit the IT band. I busted my knee the other day. I ran into something and it's breaking up the scar tissue for me and then I hit, I like to hit my calves. Oh. And then finally, finally, guys, best foot massage of your life. Hit the heel. Through your arch, towards the front, hold it and come back and then roll it around your feet. It'll be the best foot massage of your life. One quick tip, guys. They give you a soft one. I hit, I hit myself with this before I play, so it doesn't punish me so much, but it warms my joints up. All right, so thank you to Mebeck for sponsoring this video. Super smooth, super easy. My new friend for recovery. Give it a shot, guys. Link is below.